I'll just show you this uh, uh, kind of quickly here, but all we did is went into the lab and worked with our soil scientist. She's a, really a brilliant chemist. Her name's uh, Dr. Maria Silvera, and she helped us put together a very simple evaluation where we took these same mineral formulations and we exposed them to a simulated four-inch rainfall. And the four inches were delivered over three equal events. It wasn't four inches at once. It was four inches on, it was four inches for the whole week delivered in one-third events on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we pH adjusted the water. Did any of you know that rainfall averages 5.6, a pH of 5.6? I never knew that. So it's, uh, it's more acidic than neutral. And we poured it over the mineral and just collected it. And all we did was look at the difference in metal content of those minerals. And here's a picture of it. We ran it in four replicates. And these are Buchner funnels, 750 grams. What's that? About a pound and a half, I guess, about. And then the four inches of rainfall over the week would come through. And we would collect it here. That's kind of the color of it. And then all we would do is look at the metal concentration of the mineral before and after the leaching event. And here's the results that we found. Those formulas, the formulas are identical. They're the same formulas, just different forms of the metals. If they contain the hydroxy form, they lost about 20% of the zinc, but the sulfate and organic forms lost over half of the zinc. Same way with manganese. Now we saw the same thing, I don't have the slide here, with copper, but much less. The losses of copper was only about 10 or 15 percent for sulfate and organic, and then only about 1 percent for the hydroxychloride. So the, the solubility when exposed or soaked in rain means a lot in terms of what is left for that calf or cow to consume. Now, many of you might do a better job covering your mineral. It might not get as wet. But the take-home message is here that when that mineral's out in the field, that free-choice mineral, and it gets wet, what those cows eat the next day is much different than what you poured out of the bag that, that, as a dry, dry material. And all of it really comes, this is just those three. Remember I told you we did it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to total four inches? Almost all of it's lost in that first rainfall event, and then less in the second and third. Okay, so that just tells us that, that that leaching event is quick. Now, I want to just caution you to not think that if your mineral gets wet, you've lost 50% of your zinc if it's from zinc sulfate. You lost some, maybe not 50%. This is probably as bad as it gets, right? Because we're making sure that all four inches goes right on top of the mineral and we leach the whole amount, okay? But you are losing some or we are losing some with those more soluble forms when it gets wet.